Living rooms are usually open and visible to the other areas of the home, so these rooms often become the foundation of the color palette for the rest of your house. So when you're choosing paint colors, there are a few good rules of thumb to keep in mind. We've styled this living room in three different color palettes. You can see how color can bring out details and impact the look and feel of the space. Neutral paint colors are great for living rooms. They're versatile and never go out of style. They create a mood that's fresh, subdued, timeless, and relaxing. Neutrals with either warm or cool undertones work equally well in living rooms. Whichever you choose, be consistent with the undertones that come through in your other paint colors. This keeps the look harmonious. Balance light colors with dark colors. For example, a slightly darker neutral color behind your favorite painting can create a subtle picture frame and highlight your work of art. A darker neutral on trim, molding, or shelves is also a fresh take on the traditional white trim. To keep your living room visually interesting, be sure to bring in different textures like wood, glass, pottery, metal, and fabric. Your furniture, flooring, lighting, and accessories are great places to start. Fill the room with multiple points of lighting to keep it warm and inviting. And open up as much natural light as possible to give it a fresh and airy feel. Adding a bit of color to your living room is a great way to add some personality and visual interest to your space. Most any color can work in a living room, but it's a good rule to reserve brighter colors for your accents. The warm yellow on the walls gives this room a cheerful and welcoming feel. Some safe ways to add bolder color to your living room are in the accents. Pillows and throws, artwork, and painted furniture are great places to add pops of color. Adding color to architectural features, like this fresh, subtle green on the fireplace, creates a charming focal point for the room. You can also create a harmonious transition between adjoining rooms by using the same colors in a slightly different way. Here, the living room's wall color is continued on the trim in the next room, and an accent color from the throw is carried over in this vibrant russet orange for the walls. Using bolder colors in your living room will add a feeling of vibrancy and energy to your space. Bold hues are best used as secondary colors so they can really pop. And it's a good idea to limit your palette to three or four colors so it looks balanced. Using bolder colors on painted shelving and furniture adds fun and unexpected pops of color to your space. The deep, sagey green on the painted tables echoes the walls of the adjoining room to tie these two rooms together. Trim is another great place to use bolder colors and to connect adjoining spaces. Be sure to keep the overall wall color more neutral to keep the look balanced. And the sheen of the paint can make a color seem more subtle or bright. So for living rooms, I would recommend using either a flat or eggshell finish for the walls and ceilings. A satin or semi-gloss for the doors, trim, and painted furniture adds a touch of vibrancy and gives these spots extra durability. Visit your neighborhood Ace Hardware for more helpful tips and advice, and you'll find us online at thepaintstudio.com and acehardware.com.